here in the shapes panel are all the symmetrical shapes for Sintel. We have 26 facial and two more for her pupil dilation. While working on facial shapes, I found that working with textured solid shading enabled, which is in the property shelf under display, made it much nicer to work with. It gave me feedback on how her textures moved and was closer to what she'd look like once rendered. Once the jaw and eyelids are rigged and weighted, the first thing I do is open the jaw to check and clean up the geometry inside the mouth. After that, I start creating a series of isolated shapes in full symmetrical form using X mirror tool. I start with proportional editing and then move on to editing individual vertex for final polishing. I like to work in symmetry because it gives me the full effect of each shape. In the next section, you'll see how I break up the shapes to create asymmetry. On frame 220, you'll notice that the only shape that include rig is the squint shape. To create the shape, I first placed the eyelid rig and then built my squint shape around it. For each shape, I check on three things, which I call the three M's. First, motion. I scrub between default to shape at all angles, ensuring everything moves naturally. Second, mixing. Since the goal is to create shapes that are mixable, I mix the one I'm currently working on with other shapes, and that ensures that they blend well together. Third, mouth open. For all mouth shapes, I open the jaw and make sure that each shape is smooth inside the mouth and against the teeth. These shapes might not look like much now, and that's because they're meant to be combined together. This layering method allows animators more flexibility to build more complex facial expression.